Hey guys, Jamie and Sarah here. Today we are answering some of the questions you sent in so that you can see inside our brains when it comes to furniture flipping. <laughs> so let's get started. So before we get started, we should mention that where you live actually plays a big factor in how much you can get for pieces. Um, so that might kind of vary um, based on what we could get here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, which is more of like a medium-sized city. Mm -hmm. So if you live somewhere like more rural or if you live in a big city like New York City, it's going to be a little different price-wise. Mm -hmm. So let's get started with some of these questions. All right. So this one says, I recently bought this chair from an op shop, which we call thrift stores in New Zealand. Nice. So she's from New Zealand. That's cool. Very cool. Thoughts on flipping it. I actually want to keep it though. <laughs> I bought it for 70 New Zealand dollars, so roughly 50 US dollars. So my question would be, would you recover the chairs and how much would you resell it for? I think the the tannish beige is really the classic look with the rattan, so I don't know that I would really cover them. Um, and uh, that's also going to be a lot of work for you. Uh, maybe if you're keeping it for yourself and you have like a vision of a new color, mm -hmm. but we are definitely not skilled in the sewing department. <laughs> um, we'll recover something if we can staple it to like a hard surface, um, like yeah. we've seen in some other videos, but we're not going to try to sew cushions because I don't think it would turn out too well. <laughs> so if you're going to flip it, it's definitely probably not worth your time. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how long that would take you, but let's say it took you 20 hours. Um, and even if you can sell this piece for like $200, that still just isn't enough profit to make it worth your time to sew everything. Mm -hmm. I would put some like pretty pillows on there and also like a cute little throw, um, mm -hmm. maybe even a plant in the corner, um, just to kind of make it look its best. So I'll take that photo first as like the cover photo on my marketplace. Mm -hmm. um, but then I'll put behind it, I'll take everything off of it to show like that there's no staining I'm trying to cover up or holes, rips, anything like that. But yeah, just kind of, I would make it more modern with pillows and throws without actually recovering it. Yes. But yeah. that's a very cool piece. Yeah, good find. This says, hi, my sister and I started a furniture flipping uh, after seeing your videos a few months back. We're also from Grand Rapids. Very nice, cool. Nice, nice. Uh, we saw your post on YouTube and wanted to see what you thought of this chair. It's a really great piece, but do you think we need to rip the skirt off of this one at all? I think it gives it some cool character and has circular swivel bottom, not legs. What would you guys suggest and what would you price it at? Okay, so this chair is awesome. I love, love, love that green and the shape of it is like sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how much you paid for this because I think it's... I think you definitely could make a good profit on this. Looks in like perfect shape too. It does. I see what you're saying with the skirt. It is kind of like unique with like the slits in it, but I just have had so much luck with ripping them off compared to not. Mm -hmm. It's just right now that's what's popular. So I still would recommend ripping it off. If you really don't believe that like it'll look better, like if the legs are really that ugly, mm -hmm. um, I guess I wouldn't, but. Yeah, we just, got an orange shovel chair upstairs and we took the skirt off and it still looks pretty cool so yeah it has yeah. like the cross legs underneath yeah. Yeah. so depending on what's underneath i still would but i i do see what you're saying but this is a really cool piece it'd be hard for me to give this one up i have sold a similar chair to this for 125 um that same color and kind of condition but I got so much interest in inquiries on it. Like I sold it instantly. So I think you could easily get 150 for this. Nice. With the skirt off. With the skirt off. But I'll be curious to see what happens with it for you. I think you definitely made a good purchase. Yeah. It's, I like your natural light you're using and mm -hmm. like how you staged it too. It looks yeah. Really the good. plant's really nice. The wood floor. Yeah. It's cool. It's not too busy, which I like your photo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. This person is doing a really cool like high top dining set. Um, it says, we are going to sand and restain the set. We may end up keeping it. <laughs> if you do end up keeping this piece and you want to sand and stain it and make it like perfect and the color you want, like that's great. Um, but it kind of goes along with the New Zealand post is that it, if you're going to sand and stain this just to flip it, I really don't think it'd be worth your time. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think someone would appreciate all the work that you put into it and actually pay you for it. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're going to flip this, I would definitely just clean it up, maybe put some place settings on it to make it look nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. um, I think you could probably get 200 for it. Yeah, it's nice. It's a cool piece. Yeah. 
like Sarah said, we're furniture flippers. We're not furniture restorers. Yeah. Um, and when it comes to restoring furniture, there's a true art to it. But when it comes to flipping, if you're trying to make money doing it, you're all about trying to do the least amount of work possible for the most profit. So it's a constant battle of like weighing, is this actually going to pay off in the end? So um, that's yeah. kind of what Sarah's saying is like with the sanding, it'll look better, yeah. but it's not going to be worth your time. Yeah. So when you buy pieces, like look for ones that don't need a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, yep. But for sure, if you want to keep it, it would definitely probably look better if you did that. But I don't think it's necessary if you're going to flip it. Mm -hmm. This is a cool one. Okay. It says, I've never resold furniture, but decided to try it when I saw this Brentwood rocker for $20 on Facebook Marketplace. It mm -hmm. stood out to me because of the train of, Ken of Kane right now that you guys do in a lot of your pieces. I don't have very good place to stage photos, so I, I'd love your advice on what to do and even what you'd change with the couple photos I took. Um, I'm also not sure the easiest and best way to fix up the scratches in the wood to make it look more mint condition. Mm -hmm. Lastly, what would you price it at? So this is an interesting piece to me because I think these Brentwood walk rockers are so cool. Mm -hmm. Super unique. I actually always want to buy them and Sarah's like, oh, I don't know because yeah. I've never seen like the prices that they sell for on Marketplace vary so much. Um, it's hard to say like how in demand they actually are, but you're right. I think it has that cool cane look. It would look great in like someone's sunroom next to plants yeah. or something like that. But the curviness of the legs is awesome. Yeah. I honestly, I don't think that this piece has um, become as trendy as it's a, as it's about to in like six months. At I, least in our area. Yeah. yeah. I could see this Brentwood rockers becoming like huge and super valuable in like six months. So what I'm seeing is on marketplace, I see a lot of these for like $20 mm -hmm. and I'm not sure why. Cause I think they're so much more valuable, but I could see in like six months mm -hmm. them being worth like $200 on marketplace. Mm -hmm. So kind of like the, the peacock chair, you used to see those a lot yeah. before they, um, they went big, but yeah. And even now those are yeah. starting to come back down in price because yeah. they're not as trendy, trendy anymore. Yeah. So that's kind of the piece with this is you could either wait on it or, um, you could try maybe in your area. These are more popular than they are in our area. I think what they're awesome. You get for it? I would try to get one fifty for it. Honestly, it's mm -hmm. such a cool piece. Um, someone would really love it and appreciate it. And so mm. you just need one person to buy it. You don't need a mm. hundred, you know, so. I like how you staged it. I think you used uh, what you had in a great way. Mm -hmm. um, natural light and you added some staging. I like the different angles you took of it to show like all the cool curves and stuff. Yeah. So I don't really have any critiques there. Um, as far as fixing scratches, I would just, um, go try to go to the store and match the stain the best you can. So mm -hmm. just find uh, the closest you can. It's not going to look identical, but go back and um, just wipe it on and off with a paper towel. Um, the non-scratched part is not going to soak up any stain because it's already finished. So mm -hmm. the stain will just soak into the scratch part and it's not going to look perfect, but it's going to look almost perfect and it'll yeah. look a lot better than it does now. So yeah, less noticeable. Just try to sure. match that stain and um, I think you'd be surprised at how much better it looks. Yeah, but yeah. I, I really like your photos. I yep. I think you're being too hard on yourself. I think those are great. Okay, this one says, I'd love to know how you would price this dresser I bought to resell or if you would stage it differently. I haven't had any interest and I thought it would go quick. That's always stinks when that happens. Um, mm -hmm. Dressers are tricky. We, yeah. um, we actually don't really buy them anymore. We did, we tried them in one video because we got one for $6. Um, yeah. We thought we could get 200 for it because we did a lot of work to it, but we actually only ended up getting 100 for it, so. Yeah, and it was a really big piece. Yeah. This piece is hard for me to tell if it's like a small nightstand or if it's like a bigger dresser. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm not quite sure what you should price it at. Um, Positives going for it is that it uh, looks like solid oak, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to be more of a quality piece of furniture than like the cardboard stuff nowadays. So Right. I um, love how you staged it. I think the you have the cute little plants and trinkets on top, but it's not like overwhelming and your mm -hmm. light's really nice. So I wouldn't change anything there. I would just I would just wait. Marketplace, like sometimes you just need to wait for the right person to come along and it's mm -hmm. okay if it takes a week, you know? Mm -hmm. So Try posting um, some of those like Facebook groups that are like garage sale groups mm -hmm. um, to get more people to see it. We've mentioned in other videos, but there's kind of like a algorithm now that won't show your listings unless you pay. So it's kind of unfortunate. So try those Facebook yeah. groups. I think you'll sell it, like Sarah said, um, maybe $100. 
Yeah, you get for it? I think so for yeah. sure. D- unless it's bigger, maybe more. I think it's a really. It looks like a quality piece of furniture. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, yeah. But definitely, like Jamie said, try those garage sale groups. We've had better luck with those lately. If you're feeling a little bit screwed over by marketplace. Mm-hmm. All right. So the next one says, I got this chair off Facebook Marketplace for fifteen dollars. That's a good price. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm thinking of removing the skirt and rocker part and putting in mid-century modern legs on. Uh, and even thought of changing the color. Uh, what are your thoughts? Definitely rip the skirt off. I think that's a great idea. Mm-hmm. Um, and the price you paid is great. I think you're going to make money on it no matter what. As far as changing the color, I we've never tried that. Um, I know there's like fabric paints and stuff you can yeah. buy. But um, you could give that a try. But it could be a disaster too. But Hey, at least you're only out 15 bucks if it goes <laughs> if it goes south. Yeah. But um, the legs would be a great idea if you could get them really cheap. Um, otherwise, you know, the swivel, like we said before, is co- a cool look. We just bought a chair upstairs that we're keeping the swivel on, and we ripped the skirt off, and I think it still looks cool. So yeah. Um, I wouldn't. I personally would not spend the extra twenty dollars on legs mm. um, because I don't think that you'll necessarily get it back. Okay. What do you think you should list that for? All fixed up. As the color as is. Yep. Um, if you don't change the color, I think you could get 50 for it. 50 to 75? Yeah, 50 to 75. I would, again, put, like, take a nice photo of it in your window light, put a cute little pillow on it with a little throw, kind of mm. dress it up a little bit. But, yeah, I think 50 to 75. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next one says, picked up some free wing backs I, and I painted them. The white I painted gray and the colorful one I painted black. Cool. Wow, so someone is color. Let's let's check them out here. Gray one already sold. I have a video and I am about the process in the gray one. So this guy <gasps> is painting these furniture pieces look and at that they black one. look really good. Yeah. That's sweet. I mean, especially like these those wing back ones, you do see them for free sometimes because mm-hmm. they're so like ugly, you know what I'm saying? So Well, like the originally, like the fabric, yeah, yeah. is pretty crazy on them. Like that <laughs> that one reminds me of um the Santa Claus. Um, the stepdad when he's wearing that ugly sweater and <laughs> Tim Allen calls him out, it looks like that. It does. But then look at that one. I like the dark colors on it a lot too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like how he also painted the legs black. So it's like kind of monochromatic. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I'm into it. I dig. Especially with the brick and stuff too. Yeah. I think you did a great job staging these. I'm mm-hmm. curious what you sold the gray one for. I love both of these, but I actually think I like the black one more. So mm-hmm. I'm, I wonder whatever you sold the gray one for. If you sold it quickly, I would try listing the black one for higher and see if you can mm-hmm. get it. Yeah, I'm curious to see how that holds up to with the, the fabric painting, but uh, maybe we should look into that more. Yeah, that might be kind of a fun yeah. fun project, fun yeah. video. Yeah, and cool. free is always the best thing when you can get something for free. So There's a lot of free stuff on Marketplace or on Craigslist. We've even found stuff on the side of the road just driving mm-hmm. around. Yeah, you so, might see one of those in an upcoming video, yes. actually. So so pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. Good work. So we hope this gives you a good idea into like our thought process on flipping furniture and kind of how we go about things. Like we said before, each situation is different. So we try to answer as many questions as we can in the comments. So if you ever have one, uh, feel free to ask, ask us below and we'll try our best to answer it. But yeah, um, in the meantime, we'll see you next time. Happy flipping. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>